Good morning, America. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. PDG here. Little Jake here. This is uh, what's up? <laughs> this is Barky Bark Chug. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna do two minute topics. We're just gonna go bam, 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 bam. Because apparently everyone on the internet only watches things for about two to three minutes and they do a lot of fast forward and scrubbing to get to kind of what they want because we have no patience ever. Attention span. Zero. Everyone needs uh, Adderall. That might help. <laughs> All right, so but today's, today's theories are basically, we're gonna go a series of fives, two minute topics. And I have to work out at 10.30 and Jake is making me drink a beer. So we're gonna see how that plays out. And cheers. I think got me the biggest beer possible. Oh. Damn good beer though. This is mango, I was not expecting that. Mm. Ha ha, joke's on you. Hey, I got this extra beer, you want me to get you a glass? I was not expecting that. That threw me for a loop. Woo, party. All right, so first topic, five stupid things in the news. One, I don't really watch the news. So all I know is it's Trump this, it's new coronavirus spikes, Black Apparently Lives it's Matter. Spiked a lot. Well, I have no clue. I, again, I don't watch it either, but from what I uh, did listen to, we had more cases in California than like ever the other day. <sighs> they, remember they opened up the beach? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they had Karen going through there. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, no, that, I mean, it, <laughs> what did you expect, really? Stay home. Wear a mask. Put a mask on. It's very simple. You go to the northern parts, we would come back from uh, Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and no one was wearing bear masks. No. You'd go to the grocery store, no big deal, and it's like... If you wear a mask, they're looking at you funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I get. I mean, I get both sides when we talked about it. Uh, so now we have way more cases, so... But we're also testing way more. I would like lakes. to talk to somebody that has had COVID or Corona, because I have no clue. Yeah, I heard that Trump was telling facilities to slow down the testing. Yeah, there's something like that. Hey, there's no yeah, tests. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, look, the numbers went way down. <laughs> we stopped testing. Stop testing. No one has coronavirus. No one's got it. There's a cure. No one's got it. No one's got it. <laughs> Here in Southern California, I don't know if you saw the Karen video, the lady that was being completely racist against some Asian guy. At the, the Starbucks? At the park. Yeah, the Starbucks or the park or right. the parking lot. Apparently lots of Karens out there. All right, so pretty much we don't watch the news is what we've come up to. And since all of this hit, I just decided it would be easier for me not to. There's nothing on the because news. Because there's nothing on there, but all of that. Destructo, what do you got going on here? Come here. How did you do that? That took some skill, man. All right, so five things in the news, we know nothing. There you go, folks. Yeah. We know nothing. See, that's why we're great. We get, we're completely unaffected by what the real world thinks and what is actually really going on. And all the shit on the news is probably fake anyway. That, that's the other thing. My Michigan friends sent me the whole Jesse Sommelier thing that happened like two years ago in Chicago. Uh -huh. The actor that dressed himself up and got beat up. On the online news side, Bubba Watson, they just want to take anything and really just, just try to really get crazy with it. Oh, other stupid shit in the news, they're trying to tear down all the monuments. Yeah. Uh, there was what, some guy that pretty much said that Jesus is uh, racist and anything that's uh, Jesus related should be torn down. But <clears throat> then again, last time I checked don't black folk go to church too? Like, isn't it? Last time I checked, they did. Yeah. You know, right now, actually, that's what everyone needs is a little bit of Jesus. And just relaxing. The dude who got shot in, Ch is it Chaz now? The, the takedown zone? Yeah, the takedown zone. Yeah. Guy no got cops shot. here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Defund the police. Funny because they're like, this is supposed to be a real peaceful zone. We don't need the cops here. And you're not allowed to use money here. It's all old school barter system. And then some dude gets smoked. He was bartering the wrong yeah. stuff. So you're like, oh, that's cool. I mean, if you guys are like us, we kind of don't even give about the news it's just like leave us alone all you guys do is yeah. throw a bunch of crap out there that honestly what's it do it riles people up promotes this state of panic that everyone's in and this sense of heightened sensitivity yeah that's for sure like fuck, dude you can't say anything it's like oh my god oh there was another stupid thing in the news apparently in michigan some guy in macy's overheard a white guy on the phone and he thought he said you know the n-word and next thing you know he's sucker punching him beating the crap out of him and i watched the video i'm like the guy's on the phone i don't know you can't hear the audio and then he's standing in front of a pants rack that just gets clocked. Everybody just needs to settle down 
I, I get it. I'm not condoning the use of that word. Everyone, Everyone just down. needs to just settle down and stop being so, I don't want to say sensitive for, because that's not the right word, but stop looking for a reason, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Fueling the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're a, a bunch of wood sitting there loaded with gasoline and you're just waiting for that spark and it doesn't matter what it is. That was you're coronavirus. Just yeah, sitting well, at home. <laughs> you got yeah, nothing exactly. better to do. Or the Floyd video, actually. You know, that could make people go crazy. Yeah. That was well, that. Yeah. All right. Well, there's our two minutes on stupid crap of the news. Here's our next topic. So we're gonna talk about five things you would do if you were president. I'll give you three on this one. I'll take two. Uh, First thing you would do if you were president. I'd make it mandatory that if you want to eat meat in this country, you have to, at a certain point, be a part of killing and butchering an animal. Because I'm tired of the people who talk crap because I like to go hunting, but yet they're at Costco buying 30 pounds of hamburger meat. Like, where do you think that came from? The chicken doesn't just show up magically. Come on, dude, they print it. Yeah, yeah. There, we're not 3D printing chicken here. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you want to sit there and do it, then you have to, by a certain age, be a part of this process at least one time, and then you get a nifty little sticker on your driver's license, and that means that you could purchase it. Otherwise, if you don't want to be a part of it, that's fine, I get it, but you're not allowed to buy it. So here's the interesting part. In the city, of course, they don't teach any of that, but in uh, Amador County, Sutter Creek, they, for high school, they had to raise a pig. That was like part of their project. That was like an agricultural project, raise a pig. And then butcher it? Yeah. Take it to market, and you know, they turn like you can't be friends with, it. you know, they right. treat it. It's like, listen, it's an animal. You're going to grow it, and you're going to eat it. For all the people that just like to eat beef or meat or chicken, I agree. On my grandma's farm as a kid, the, the animals who got names didn't get butchered. <laughs> the ones who got numbers, they got eaten. That's number one. <laughs> yeah, like that's just what happened. <laughs> all right. All right, second thing you would do if you were president. We need to also have, you know, we have driver's ed in, in school. We have wood shop. Why don't we have firearm safety? All I'm saying is basic knowledge on firearm safety, what they do, what the capabilities of them are, and what they are. Because I, I feel that a lot of the stuff that goes on is there's a curiosity around them because everybody's so, like, touchy-feely about them. Oh, you always get the story of the kid that wandered into the thing. Exactly. You know, like, hey, this is a great idea. Right. But education is key. Yeah. And I just, right. I feel that would be a, that would help out a whole His lot. first two, I like your first two bills. We need to get more stuff made here. Grants for companies that yes. make things in America? If you oh make it God. here, yeah, I know, it's a crazy thought. <laughs> but we need to keep stuff being made here and bought here instead of stuff being made overseas somewhere because they can save a few pennies and somebody else can get richer off of it. Tax incentives to build it here. Exactly. That's all. Boom. You know, the biggest problem being in the business side is labor. Everyone wants to get paid a hundred thousand dollars a year and then everyone wants to you know just stack shelves right and it's like all right come on you know it's like it's not like you're gonna pick up joe schmo throw him in a welding box and say oh here you go or no. we'll operate this crane or yeah like, no you know, there's a certain and value comes out of that so you can go down to mexico and it's what 30 to 1 in pesos i mean you yeah. could pay a guy two bucks a day and in, right. in, in the in the back country in mexico that hey that gets you by so that's what i'm saying we need to get stuff here i agree with the tax and send to get it here as labor goes up basically they're going to start you know the replacing with the robots so we got three things there, right we've had one we've had fix the education system two tax incentives for making here which i actually think was three and then there was the other one in there yeah you should be a part of the the process of slaughtering animals there's work and there's a whole lot that goes into it it's not just going to the store and going i'll take that chicken in the plastic package it Agreed. makes you appreciate what you're eating a lot more when you're a part of that process you will not waste as much well i mean that's the way it was back in the day it's like right. listen you went to get you went, hunted because you needed to eat if you're going to take something's life then you eat it and it makes you appreciate it and it'll make you choose a little bit more wisely on doing that opposed to just going out there and trophy hunting and leaving it there all right so two things i would change as president more high-speed transport roads are great cars are great elon musk is building over there his hyperloop i drive the my car onto the big tube underground tunnels yes and then my car goes 750 miles and over and boom yeah, you're there and then i get out of my big you know it's like a ferry right and so that would be completely badass like i definitely Star Wars I would build ferry. <laughs> yeah light speed <laughs> Well, I guess speed, we'll, we'll start at the speed of sound. Right? Yeah. So that's about, you know, 670, 690 or whatever in that category. You're moving. The second thing that I would change as president 
I got a good one. I honestly think that law enforcement needs to be way better trained. Yeah, I heard some somewhere, what was it? Oh, you could be a cop in six months, but you got to be an attorney in, you know, four to eight years. If you're giving people guns and handcuffs, tasers, and you're <laughs> having times. them, yeah, and you're having them walk around town telling other people what to do, they should be extremely well trained on all of those things. Okay, five things my wife did this week that made me scratch my head. Why the hell did you do that? Yesterday, me and the wife go to, we have a little date night, right? She had her mom's car uh -huh. because she left her car with the baby seat so she could drive it. She drives home and I'm coming from the Conrad's. Hey, I'm texting, I'm like, hey wife, you know, just hop in the car, get this, you know, grab the silverware and grab some waters. Okay, well, whatever, I get here and she's just not here, just cruising around and her phone died, of course, so. Go down to the beach. The place was packed. I'm um, sure. Packed. People walk around doing, you know, like having a normal party. I'm like, okay, eat her food. And then pretty much after that, she's yelling at me. She's like, all right, let's go get my house. I'm like, get your car. Let's go. Why aren't you going? I'm like, whatever. Yes, honey. And then I kind of swung by the thing. Hey, do you want to grab the car? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? I'm pregnant. That wasn't that great of a funny story, but it made me scratch my head. <laughs> Last night, so I'm sitting there, I I'm getting frustrated because I want to get a new tattoo. And I've been talking to this guy and he's been kind of like bullshitting for lack of a better term, stringing me along with like, oh yeah, give me a call when you get off work. And I give him a call and then no answer. And then I get a text message at midnight, like, oh my bad, I was really caught up in doing this. Call me on Wednesday. Okay, so I call him on Wednesday when I get off of work, no answer, text message, nothing. Then I get a text at 11.30 at night. Oh, my bad, bro, you know. So I'm getting frustrated about it. Last night I decided to vent my frustrations to my wife. And then she's like, when you want it done, it's gotta happen yesterday. <laughs> but when I want stuff done, it's like, oh, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the same argument my wife gives me. I'm like, time out, miss who I just got my eyebrows tatted. They're not tatted. I understand that. Whatever the hell it's called, she got them done. So I figured now it's my turn to do mine. <laughs> you get your no, I'm not getting my eyebrows done. <laughs> And the thing that kind of frustrates me is she only works three, sometimes four days a week, which means she has four or three days off. I'm like, that's a lot of time to do shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know how much I could get accomplished if I had four days off a week? Don't tell her, she'll find out. <laughs> She's like, I'm just saying, when you want it done, it's gotta get done now. But when I want something done, and I'm like, that's not the case, but okay, fine, whatever you say. Funny part is they do have a point. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Can't admit that, shh, yeah. shh. Don't. My wife complains about the same exact thing. She's just sitting here, it's like, oh, when you want something done and you wanna upload your podcast. And I'm like, honey, but I'm, I'm yeah. backpedaling. No, yeah, no, I, I'm I know it. I know it. And I wonder why that is. I'm like, huh, I kinda go with this theory. I've already backed it. Here's another one. Right, we do this RV trip. We go from here, we go to Lake Mead, we go to St. George, we go to Lake Powell. That's all desert. So we go to Lake Mead, get the RV spot. Air conditioning is so cold that night that I'm literally pulling the blankets off and trying to get a new shirt. I'm like, first of all, it's 70 degrees outside. You don't need the air conditioning. But I'm like, all right, listen, you're pregnant, whatever. Air conditioning, I'm renting it. Use all the air you want. And so she does. <laughs> I'm fighting with her in the middle of the night, getting up and down. And she's like, it's at 63. And it's just, I'm like, it's never going to get to 63. So fine, right? And then, you know, you know, the second, the second uh, spot, same thing. We got into the RV and it had hookups and all that stuff. She, same thing, air conditioning, all good. No problem, whatever. And then I tell her for the third day where we're staying in Lake Powell, you know, two two nights, I'm like, yeah, we're not gonna have air. Pete, it's fucking 80 degrees outside. And because I told her all the campsites are full, you know, they don't have air where we're going. I don't know what to tell you. We can run the generator. You can know, we can do this. I finally said, honey, we can run that. We can run the generator. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. But then luckily the <laughs> RV hookups came, figured something out with a campsite over there, but I had air and same thing in the middle of the night, I'm fighting. The only problem, the good part is that Powell, it was still like 84 degrees outside at night. So that air conditioner just never went off, but it wouldn't get too hot because it was yeah. so hot on the outside. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I have the same arguments with my wife, but it's the opposite. Um, <laughs> like when she used to come visit me in Northern California in college, it'd be winter time and I'd have all the windows open. And she's screaming at me, put a blanket on, put a sweater on. I run hot constantly. <laughs> I'll have the air on at the house and I have a fan going overhead and then a little one on the floor blown. She's like, is this necessary? And she's all curled up and everything. I'm like, look, you can always get warmer. I can I can only cool down to so much before, you know what I mean? You'd be like, hey, do you want me sweating on you at night? That's what I told her. Or we could just put on the fans. 
the AC fight. Third thing that my wife did that made me scratch my head. Oh, she made me redeem a bunch of uh, reward points for restoration hardware stuff. You um, got a bunch of fancy stuff coming. Uh, the kids room, you know, nice. getting that all done. So I need this crib, I need this, and the local bid, buy, buy, baby, or whatever. Yep. Even Target is three times as less it looks just as good and i'm going to use it for two, two to three years yeah so listen there's a crib you want some wallpaper i'll put some wallpaper up okay you want a a, a tiki, tiki looking thing on the window i'll put it on the window that does well, raise a good point you sit there and bitch that i didn't do this but the second I finish with that, you find something else for me to do. <laughs> so when you wonder why I don't do it, I go, because there's still going to be something to do. You and the kid, you guys go away for two weeks. Yeah, I'll get it all just done. Give, just, give me, just give me a few things to get done. So maybe we can't even get five topics out of it. We're, being, <laughs> we're, yeah. just, we're just Neanderthals over here. We love our wives and they do nothing wrong. Yeah. Five things that piss me off at work. One, when I walk in and there are people that are supposed to be working, but they're on their phone and not like on their phone but like watching a whole series of netflix and it kind of drives me nuts you know my bills go up and you know those two three percent that are added in labor guess what it's a pain in the ass yeah. pisses me off pisses me off don't be on your phone when i walk in there make me feel like you're working just tell me if you don't know how to do something just tell me that man it's not a big deal be upfront about it no i i i feel you because the guy that did the bathroom over here you know i'm like hey i, I had to test him out because he's a contractor i was like hey i got this floor problem can you fix it it's like, yeah, yeah, I can. So it comes in there, and then whatever, he, he rips up the thing. I have to manage him to, like, fix what I want because he's not getting the point. And then when I look at all this stuff now, you know how when you do the hardwood floor, and if you don't use, like, a tapping block mm -hmm. or, like, a... a, a uh, protector it dings up the edges so mm -hmm. now i'm looking and, and they're hard to see but i see them and that's you could tell what someone didn't know what they were doing customers that call up that are so angry i didn't get my order people for crying out loud i'm just trying to make you happy we just want you to get what you ordered and make you happy and tell right. us that we did a great job things do happen i'm sorry that there was a package that said it was delivered and you didn't get it we're all people when we're especially all now. just trying to help people out here especially now with all the covid going on like things are taking Longer, longer to get i've had stuff that it says it's arrived but three days later it'll show up yeah I'm like I, I get it you know someone is just trying to do their job i'm not going to call up and raise hell with somebody we're going to be nice to you but if you come back and just constantly be a harassing dick i don't want you as a customer yeah. the, the guy who's been there for three weeks and then comes up to you he's like hey boss man you know so i was thinking who do i gotta talk to about a raise <laughs> that guy i've had that guy you started like three weeks ago yeah yeah i know i've been killing it though keep doing what you're doing and we'll, we'll talk about it later you know what I mean? All right. And then a week later. So I was wondering if you had a chance to look into that or talk to some. No, no, I did not. <laughs> just, to, just to close this off with one more thing, <laughs> since this one is now thrown back, back to me. The city irritates me. They, they think that I have to work to go by what they want me to do. And it's like, no, 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 that doesn't work. I'm not coming to your office. I'm not, yeah. you know, when did it happen in this country that now I have to work for the government before I can work for myself? Blanco County, you pissed me off. Blanco County, Texas, double f**k for you with your bullshit rates and not getting back to my emails that's right Karen Karen yeah Karen that's exactly Karen I guarantee you they're probably racist against me because I'm from California so I was trying to get this micro business grant from California and they call me I was like oh we need this this and this I'm like okay they need well we need a business license I'm like well in the city of Los Angeles you don't need a business license no yes you do I'm like well here's my tax certificate no that doesn't work I'm like and then I'm fighting back and forth and of course like oh you need this yesterday oh we need this yesterday it's like I, listen each county's different each yeah. city's different what do you want from my what life? you're asking the people yeah, and now they don't want to give me now they're gonna deny my thing back to the government question one thing I would fix in the government I would hire the right people to do the right job not just anybody mm -hmm. and I would make senators not let have life terms yeah, not allowed, you're not allowed to be in Senate for the life. So in Texas, in Texas state government, they are not full-time job. Eight-week window where they work. And everything else, once you know, that's the eight-week window they get paid for. Think about it. It's like, hey, my job is now to stay in this office. Because people can really help themselves. They really can. You're, you're just like everybody else now. Five foods I want to try. That's difficult. I like to eat ostrich. An ostrich? I've had ostrich eggs. They're delicious. Uh, I would like to eat frog legs. There's people probably gonna get pissed about this, but I'd like to eat mountain lion. See what it tastes like. Mountain lion jerky. Yeah. Like I've eaten bear, so I figured animals that eat other animals gotta be good too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Peru and I wanted to try the guinea pig. That's their delicacy down there. That's like, Whoa. that's their specialty is guinea pig. 
and was like, so next time I go back to Peru, I will have some guinea pig. And wow, that was, look at that. We flew through that one in the right amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> like there's one that I want to try, but I don't want to try. And it's the, the balut egg. It's an egg that it, you're, how do I put this? The chick inside is still growing. It's like a mutated Chernobyl egg? Well, no, the chi you, you eat it before the chicken actually hatches, but it's like fermented. The people over there say that it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, but a lot of other people who have had it said it's horrible. Hmm. I wonder if what would happen if I just dicked around and literally got like a, a goat, it was a pet goat, and said it was my pet goat. Goat's good. Yeah. Goat's delicious. Yeah. Goat milk is good too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Cool, we just nailed that topic. Five things I want to go hunt. One thing I would definitely like to go hunt is mountain lion. Are we talking rifle or bow and arrow? Bow, I like bow hunting. But listen, the whole mountain lion thing, it's like, <laughs> you know, that'd be really cool. It's not like I would just go out there to go get one. No, it would be more of a scenario like, hey, I got a thing and this thing's killing all my animals. And I gotta go get it. Yeah. Then it would be kind of exciting to go get it. Just in general, eh, you know, okay, whatever. All right, your turn. What do you want to go hunt? Grizzly. Grizzly, can you hire the endangered? No. No. No, my buddy's dad just shot one in Juno. Also, whenever he goes out for L, he just picks up a bear tag because they tend to be in the same spot. The one my buddy's dad just got was, uh, I think it was eight or 900 pounds, yeah. The skin, the fur alone was 120 pounds. To get it tanned and done all that, it's, it's like expensive. five grand. Well, that's the one thing, it's like, hey, you get this animal, great, but then when you take it to the processor, that yeah. processor's charging usually like an 80 bucks skin fee, plus 30, 50 cents, 90 cents a pound, depending where you're going. Well, and a lot of the butchers, they don't, a lot of them don't process bear because you get trichinosis. It's good for you. Oof. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of cool to get some reindeer. I haven't eaten reindeer. And you know, I want to try moose too. The moose you gotta be careful with. Yeah, they'll kill you. Yeah, they'll jack you up. Oh man, they got razor sharp things. Yeah. I mean, anything I hunt, I want to eat. I wouldn't mind going like wolf hunting. I mean, again, anything I do hunt, I, I'm gonna eat for sure. Would be eating wolf like eating dog. No, definitely not. Wolves are eating meat and that's it. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> there you have it. Those are the five things that we're going to go hunt. When we have a chance, we will buy that big giant 6x6 M93A and then uh, head out to somewhere and hunt stuff. Five girls that could kick my ass. Ronda Rousey. Cyborg. It's cyborg. Pretty much any any chick that has a title belt in the UFC. Yeah, I would, I mean, granted, I know that I'd always have like a puncher's chance. I don't think I'd be able to. They'd out cardio. Yeah, like. <laughs> they would just run around you and throw like, No, see, and... that's the thing. I'm just gonna back up into the corner and you gotta come into my wheelhouse. We've pretty much said, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're a chick in the UFC, you'd probably be able to beat her ass. Yeah. Um, they don't have any heavyweight women's division. They need that division, absolutely. That would be a very very interesting division. We could just add those girls to the list too. I think that it's always like an unfair fight because she could just kick you in the sack and the fight's pretty much over. I definitely think my wife could kick my ass too. So she goes to the list yeah. because who well, won? I'm probably not gonna fight back and then she kind of kicks my ass daily anyway, so. Five things you should know about ammo and Jake's gonna lead the way on this one. If you're going for, it all depend on what you're looking for. If you're doing- Well, let's start with what you brought here. So I will pull some ammo out. You will tell me about it. Whoa. That's rifle ammo. Oh, this is the 7.62. I thought they were longer. That's 7.62 by 51. Okay, and when they say full metal jacket, that's because it has this big metal piece right here. Correct. Boom, see, it, it is completely metal. So that's a 308. Not 308, it's just a slight bit bigger. So what they're talking about when they say 7.62 by 51, it is 7.62 millimeters at its fattest point down here on the projectile itself. Okay. By 51 millimeters high. When they say 308, that is 0 0.308 of an inch around at its fattest point, And this is also by 51. Okay. So you can fire this 7.62 by 51 out of a 308. If you just have a 7.62 by 51, you cannot fire the 308 out of it. It's kind of like the uh, 44 Magnum to 44 Special. When you own a Magnum, you can shoot Magnum and Special ammo out of it. If you own a Special, you can only shoot Special ammo out of it. When we're talking full metal jacket to hollow point. Mushroom head, not mushroom head. Right. This is better for home defense. 
because once it enters, it's going to shrapnel. That's going to go through. What's the uh, grain situation? So this is like 149 grain on this. Yeah. So the hollow point's 230 grains, and the full metal jacket's also 230 grains. Is that the weight of the bullet? That's the weight of the bullet itself. Yeah. Okay. This is a 44 special hollow point. It's 165 grain. And then you have a 44 special that, that's a cowboy round and that guy is 210 grains the cowboy shooters who do they're shooting at steel targets okay at like close range so it just mushrooms up and so this mm -hmm. bullet will be it'll hit the same way as this one this one's traveling slower it's a heavier round okay that lighter one that's a hollow point it's traveling faster but since it doesn't weigh as much it doesn't have the same kinetic energy when it hits and this is just going to expand once it hits something but this is just going to flatten itself that's just going to exactly just going to turn into a big old thumper five things we should know about ammo grain full metal jacket are the big things grain is the weight full metal jacket is whether it's full whether it's hollow point and then there's also this cowboy round which right. i didn't even know about a cowboy round but there it is and then when you talk about say the 45 the reason it's 0.45 is because it's 0.45 of an inch okay. and then you have like a nine millimeter which is nine millimeters and they're talking about the widest part it all depends on what you're doing with it if you're just shooting at targets obviously the cheaper is better yeah because you're not wasting a bunch of money if you're doing home defense you want to spend a little bit more on the home defense round because you'll get a hollow point and it's it's going to be better for like i said especially if you have kids or neighbors or any of that and then when you go hunting uh, you want the more expensive round because there'll be less little you know you can tell just by looking at these two this is a real cheap round you see all those little nicks and burrs all over the mm -hmm. round there this is a more expensive round you don't have them and then when you get to the hunting rounds you really don't have them you want certain grains depending on what you're hunting because you don't want to just blow a bunch of meat apart too you get a big old thumper round out there and you hit something you're going to tear up a whole lot of meat you're going to pop a bunch of stuff so they inside. Can, so, so th when they switch the grain on this is this they're just using a different metal to make it heavier yeah exactly so like that 308 is that 308 there is 178 grains where the 762 is 149 it's a bigger round just by a little but it's also heavier so you're gonna get better distance you're gonna get better accuracy out of it and then do you think i could fire one of these off if i just hit it with a hammer and okay. will it explode at high temperatures if i throw this in a fire will it blow up no they'll start going off like yeah. dangerous like it's gonna go well if you start throwing these big ones out there <laughs> you know <laughs> okay so don't throw this into a fire no don't throw a box of ammo into a fire that's not good that's a good myth we should bust that's not good <laughs> that'll go that'll go off who are the top five knife manufacturers in this country gerber gerber benchmade benchmade uh what about buck knives are buck knives? buck buck knives spider co spider co what about kershaw certain kershaw ones the zero tolerance ones are tops they're another american made knife you tend to pay a lot more for us made knives you know people like going down and getting the big five special and not that there's anything wrong with it because i've done that a bunch of times before i finally figured out that when you buy more expensive knives you don't burn through them as fast the blades hold edges better you don't have to sharpen them as much uh, you tend not to lose them because you spent more money on them see that little nick right there yep that's from my knife i had a few beers uh -huh. and i was doing some type of i was cutting a cable oh you know what i was cutting one of those fucking twisty ties mm -hmm. but it was like in an awkward position because it was like behind the tv stand i was like bent over and it was dark and of course doing it this way yeah that's uh, good do you know how long that thing that to, to, to heal yeah it was it yeah it gouged me good it was probably a good eight weeks oh yeah we've got top listen we've got five manufacturers we should probably spend some time contact all of them get some wholesale rights and then just start giving away knives i like it cool those are all my top favorite knife companies by the way too well all right so you're gonna get me a list i'll make some phone calls yeah and hey by the way we have almost 700 youtube subscribers nice 
and then we have like a thousand Facebook fans. So you guys are kind of paying attention to us. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, send us some comments. Send us some things in terms of what you would like to see. We're gonna try to get out one day, and I think get the if that military van, if that truck is still around, I definitely want to go do a video and just check it out. That thing's sweet. I know it's sweet. That's the ultimate zombie mobile. It's the ultimate camping rig yeah. for you and your boys. Yeah. We don't need a campsite. No. <laughs> for what? <laughs> Just mow down trees on your way out, and now we got firewood, and there you exactly, go. Exactly, exactly. You know, I was reading the stats on that thing, so it's a five-ton mm -hmm. vehicle. Oh, you could put the, the picture of the vehicle back up there. Uh, with a five-ton vehicle, it only, it, it, I think it only weighs like 9,000 pounds. It's not, it's not extra really? heavy. Yeah, it's, I thought it was going to be like a 20,000-pound thing. No, it's under 10,000. Top five things you think are American but are not. Orange County, uh -huh. the turnpike, uh -huh. the, or the paid toll road. What's that toll road, the 63? The 73. The 73 is owned by a Chinese corporation. So you're telling me that we could just buy roads and start charging people like the mafia? It's a toll road, right? So someone is being charged a toll, but yet this stretch of... It's not owned by us, though. It's owned by China. So back to the things that make me scratch my head. Yeah. Like how... Capitalism. Last time I checked, you know, that, that would have to be somehow related to a government official. A hundred percent. Like, all right, I'm just going to sell this road. Hear about the city councilman right now, that uh, LA city councilman that is being, that was arrested by the FBI for taking bribes. Wouldn't be surprised if every single one of those fuckers are on, on, on the take. Man. In Michigan, they have the Ambassador Bridge. Ambassador Bridge goes from Detroit to Ontario. Uh -huh. Privately owned. One guy owns, owns the bridge. the bridge? Own, a billionaire. He owns the bridge. How are you going to own the bridge? as a private individual. Watch your beef, people. There is a yep. lot of beef that is not American that they import from Uruguay, from Australia, from Brazil, from Argentina. No, we're the beef capital of the world, yeah. so let's stick with that. I mean, Argentina and Brazil are pretty close. They're top two, top three over there. I know for a fact that the Trader Joe's meat used in their jerky does not come from the United States. They so, should, like, tell you that. Um, well, you I know, mean, I'm they, not talking about putting it in a pinhead fine print on the back of the package either. Well, that's what I'm saying, but it is, I think it may be there. I'd have to pull up a bag. Uh, I know that they have some food labeling things that talk about, you know, where it comes from or product of origin. Yeah. You know? I honestly feel that everything should be Product printed. of origin. Yeah. You get to choose. Yeah. Right. Made in America. It's just like America. when you look on like knives. Right? Made on the in blades, China. It'll say made in US of A or made in China or made in Mexico, Bangladesh Vietnam. or wherever the hell it came from. Like, like made in Italy is a trademark. Yeah. You could just buy the stamp of made in Italy and put it on Stamp it on whatever you want and then voila, it's made in Italy. And then you get to raise the price. Yeah, every I, time you say something, pay me. Made in the USA? Nope, pay me. Yeah. All right. Five people we want to punch in the face. Fauci. I'm just tired of the nonsense that comes out of that guy's mouth. Example. You need masks, you don't need masks, you're gonna die if you don't have a mask. Oh, if you wear a mask, that's horrible for your health. I'd punch Trump in the face. I like Trump, but I still just want to say I could punch him in the face, <laughs> along with Conor McGregor. Only problem is Conor might hit you back. <laughs> I'm willing to take that. Take that. It's like, all right. Yeah, like you want to punch Tyson in the face? You know he's gonna fight again. Then he looks legit. How old is the guy? I think he's 50, 51. I would definitely not want to get hit by that man. Whatever channel was left on from the night before, my wife watching TV, and it was The View. One of the ladies, same thing, they're going in this mask scenario, like, oh my God, no one's wearing their mask. It's the end of the world. Wear your masks, people. And it's like, I don't want to be on your program. I don't want to wear my mask if I don't want to wear my mask. And the point of it is, is I'll wear it here because it's just easier because then I'll get into the store. Because yeah. in the city, everyone, oh my God, they got to get on this band wagon so i'd like to punch her in the face just for the fact that she just sounds just the way she sounded and the way she was pushing out her message of oh people we need to wear our masks i'd like to punch everyone in the face who drives with their mask on <laughs> whoopee i would punch whoopee in the face i guess that's politically incorrect all right i'll give her a smack hey this Free is a hypothetical situation hypothetical 